All right, it's time. CM Sportsnet Player of the Year and for Winter Sports, and we start with girls basketball. Our finalists, Westminster's Maddie Gassman, Century's Harley Hamlet, and FSK's Drew Watkins. And our pick for CM Sportsnet Player of the Year is Maddie Gassman from Westminster High School. Maddie led the Owls to a county title and filled the stat sheet all season long. 16.6 .6 points per game, 7.9 rebounds per game, 4 assists per game, and more. Bob Blueball recently sat down with the junior guard to talk about her outstanding season. First off, Maddie, congratulations on a great year. Thanks. Really, uh, you know, you guys were not expected necessarily to win a county championship. So first of all, talking about the, the team performance. What, um, you know, what were you guys able to do to come back from a, not the best start in the world? You guys were three and five, I think, and one and two about a month into the season. Yeah, I mean, I think we just came together as a team and we always believed in ourselves and there was times when everything wasn't going how we wanted it to, but we collected ourselves towards the beginning of the season and really just ended up with a great year. You did. Uh, among those, you know, part of the great year was some great comeback wins. I think you guys were down by double digits against Liberty. You were, um, you were down against FSK in an important game, playing out there. And of course, you were down by 11 with three minutes to go against South Carroll. So if you could talk a little bit about I me, mean, if you lose any of those games, then it's, the county race is a whole different thing. So can you tell us a little bit about um, you know, both how you were able to help the team come back on the court and also keep the belief going so that you know, nobody lost faith that they could come back and win those games? Yeah, I mean, everybody knew that we needed to win those games in order to keep in contention for the counties, but we just knew that each game, every game we went just quarter by quarter, minute by minute, like every possession we knew like that we had to just try our best. And when it wasn't going like as well as we hoped, we collected ourselves and knew that the game wasn't over yet and we were able to just push through. Did you have a particular moment or game this year that was, you know, your favorite or, you know, something that you're going to be looking back on 10 years from now and thinking about? Um. I think the FSK games were really big for us because they won counties last year and they're a really, really good team and I think we knew like those were going to be some hard games. South Carroll too, they're a really good team. So just knowing that, just getting those wins was really good for us. Great. And uh, South Carroll, you hit a buzzer beater I think to, uh, to send it into overtime. You did get that off uh, in time, right? <laughs> Um, I think so. Um, you know, the refs called the game and they counted it and we just knew like the overtime we had to keep pushing. But I mean, have you ever been involved in a game like that where you're down by 11 with three minutes to go and you're able to come back and, and, and win it? Um, not that I remember, but I think just knowing that that was a big game for us we needed yeah. to win and just knowing that we were down but we weren't out of that game and just continuing to push and right. we got that big win for us. That's super. Now, so personally, individually, I think you finished in the top two in the county in scoring, rebounding, assists, and steals, which is you know a phenomenal achievement. I think about 17 points a game, eight rebounds, four assists, and four steals. So, what do you enjoy the most? Is it hitting three pointers? Is it slicing through the lane to, to make a layup? Is it uh, you know skying over somebody to grab a rebound or finding somebody on an outlet for a layup? Pick in somebody's pocket. What do you like to do best? Um, I mean, I just like to do whatever I need to for the team to win. I think um, getting assists is really fun. Just having the team celebrate each other's passes and just working together to get the wins. That's great. That's great. So um, I know your coach said that you know he uses you in all kinds of different situations. You know, everything from point guard to center. He barely ever takes you out of a game. So what was that like for you this year? How do you how do you stay in it both physically and emotionally? Um, I think I just knew the role that I would have in this team would be a big role and just staying in the game knowing that every possession matters and I just had to do whatever I could to help the team. What types of things do you do? I mean, he, he said you don't even look like you're uh, you know, breathing hard or anything. You're all, was that the case or did you get tired every now and then? I mean, towards the end of the games I obviously got tired, but working hard in practice just to keep up with that momentum and being able to play those whole games was big, but just really doing anything that the team needed in every game it was different, but mm -hmm. just... Yeah. Okay. So what do you do for an encore now? I mean, Westminster, after a great season, you guys lose, I think, five seniors, um, some people you've been playing with for three years or longer than that for AAU. Um, you know, and then so what specifically can you do to help the team next year when everybody's going to be looking at you? But more importantly, how about individually when the target's going to be squarely on your back? Everybody's going to be looking at you and, and trying, to, trying to beat you. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm not really going to think about that, more just for the team and just in the off season doing what we can to build connections with each other because it's going to be a young team. Um, but yeah, just working together and preparing for a good season. Right. Do you see yourself as a leader? Yeah, I think I lead more by example. I'm quieter, but I think I'll step into a bigger like vocal role next year, but just doing what I can, showing by example and energy and just helping us. 
So just wrapping things up, your, your sister's a Division I athlete. Um, your athleticism would have translated to pretty much any sport, I would think. What was it about basketball that kind of captivated you and got you from a very early age? And, and then looking forward, what are you planning on doing after high school? Yeah, I think basketball, the team aspect of it, you know, it's not always about one person, it's about the whole team. And every play, every possession of every game is different. And just bringing that energy and really coming together as a team is fun. And then after high school, I plan on playing in college and just, you know, not everything is about basketball, but I am excited to hopefully have four more years. Super. Well, congratulations again. Thank you very much for spending Thank some you. time with us and great year. Thank you. Kudos and congrats to Maddie Gassman, the CM Sportsnet Girls Basketball Player of the Year. Like we said, Maddie, one of the top players in the region all winter long. Want more local sports coverage? Be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.